In this session, we're going to look at our stock list report. In other words, we've gone to stock report, stock list. You will see here that you will have the whole stock list. You can manipulate the information you see in front of you with a filter. Now we've got six different reports. I've got a report called Complete Listing. If I click on Preview, it's going to show me all my detail of my stock. It's going to show me my average cost, my selling price, in which department those goods are, and it gives me a total average cost of my goods. The next report you've got is the item code description. If you click on Preview, it just gives you your items and your descriptions. Then you've got your price list and you can choose which price list would you like to see. If you now click on preview it shows you your inclusive and your exclusive prices for the items specified. Remember that if you here you can select visible fields so you can change what you have in front of you. FreePass does not have suppliers so I can click here and I can switch that field off. We don't need it. Don't forget to save you can export the detail, you can use your filter, you've got nine extra reports that you can actually design and view here. We can search, we can preview, if you can preview you can change your design. Don't forget to have proper security on design because not every user should be allowed to design and make changes to reports. Or you can send it directly to the printer. Let me show you what other reports we've got. We've got a stock take list here, if you click on preview, you can print this and then use this report while you stock take. In other words, you can hand these stock sheets out. Your staff or the people can do the stock take. They can write down how much they've counted, bring this report back to you, and then you can capture your stock take. Then, stock values only. Let me show you the total cost of your goods. And then you've got stock listing as a date. Now, remember... All our reports is normally exclusive if it's talking about prices and cost prices and it normally uses the average cost. But this report, stock listing as a date, you can choose a specific period and it will then show the amount as it was when you sold that item. Remember, I can use the first in, first out system. And that concludes looking at the stock list report option.